Not only is the animation top-notch, but I feel it pushes Leica to levels I never thought could be reached with stop motion. It is truly jaw-dropping here. The story feels more personal than anything Leica has done in the past, and the twists and turns it takes are not only admirable, but extremely heartfelt. The characters that join Kubo along his quest have some of the best character arcs I have seen from the studio. Monkey and Beetle are both a joy to watch on screen, and when their character development comes full circle, and we find out the true colors of these two, you can't help but be in not only awe, but appreciation for what Leica was able to pull off with them. Next to Coraline, Kubo is the studio's strongest main character to date. Throughout the film, he goes through so much heartache and turmoil that when he finally gets the peace he deserves at the end, you feel so much relief for the character and that he can finally rest. I have never seen a bad movie from Leica, and that statement still holds true with Kubo. So we will be giving Kubo and the Two Strings a full price ticket recommendation.